So Beaumont and Aston Martin have teamed up again and this time they've created the fantastic Beaumont Arc 52. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at what makes this bottle so special. So welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to another dream bottle. I mean, if any of you have got $75,000 to spend and would like to buy one and bring it into the studio here, we'd more than happily look at it. But I'm afraid we're just gonna have to take a look at the facts and figures and take a real deep dive into this bottle because I think it represents something that's sort of truly unique in this market really. And the first thing obviously is to look at what the ARC 52 is. And for that, you can look to the Beaumont website and it says it celebrates the definition of balance, a point in time where the past meets the present, where function meets style and where character is intensified. Now that is a tall ask for a bottle of whiskey, but this is marketing, this is sales, let them have their time, you know, that's all fine. But what does that actually mean? Well. Let's take a look at the whiskey first of all, because the whiskey itself is pretty damn special. It's a 52 year old whiskey, apparently from the 1968 vintage. It was matured in a sherry butt and an American oak hogshead or bourbon hogshead, which apparently, depending on where you read, is sort of a combination that makes incredible whiskey. There's only 100 bottles of these produced. And like I said, they're $75,000 plus taxes each. And, you know, in terms of the whiskey, it's not really something unique. You know, this is a 52 year old whiskey. It's a high age statement, but that's not really high in the scheme of, you know, we had the Glenlivet 80, we've got the Macallan 81. And only a couple of years ago, I think 2018, there was the 1965 52 year old Beaumont that was beautiful. And that's worth about 25,000 pounds at the moment. So we'll put one of those results up on screen for you. And then in 2020, there was another re-edition of this bottling. This is, this is how I understand it. It had a new outer case. So not the wooden box that went in, like the bottle with the wooden box, but a new outer, outer box that was made out of part of the spirit saves that were in operation at the distillery. And Whiskey Hammer, I think it was, sold one of these recently for 65,000 pounds. Again, same whiskey, two different bottles, a significant difference in price. Now, these bottles are okay. These are okay, they're propriety glass, but it's the same glass that they use in all sorts of their other bottlings as well. And it's just a bottle and it's just a wooden box. It's nice, but it doesn't scream luxury. And this is where I think the ARC 52 really changes. So obviously Beaumont haven't made this themselves. The whiskey has been produced by Beaumont and the design has been headed by Aston Martin. And I think this really highlights what Beaumont are doing especially that no one else is really doing. And that's sort of going, let's make some awesome design. They're working with some truly incredible industrial designers and, you know, we'll come on to the, the, the style of the bottle in a second, but it celebrates something different. You know, if you look what they did to great success with Aston Martin with the DB5 edition, they took fantastic whiskey and repackaged it and made it super premium. You know, the packaging around that DB5 edition is jaw dropping. And it's the same with this one. And well, let's take a look at this. This is, this is part of the promo video that Beaumont and Aston Martin have produced. And just look at the attention to detail. Every little detail has been considered. So I don't know what you people think about that, but I think that is a really well considered product. Whether you love it or hate it, whether you like the design or like what it represents is a different question. But in terms of attention to detail, in terms of this being not just another standard glass bottle with a new fancy package around it, every single little part of this is being considered for the luxury market. It's not for me, it's, it might not be for you. It's only for 100 select people worldwide to spend $75,000 on. So if you don't have that sort of money to spend on a bottle of whiskey, 
It might not necessarily meant to resonate with you, but it's, it's the key here is that they're working with an industrial design team to make a cr truly incredible piece of design because this, let's, let's face it, this is not about the whiskey. There's no way that this is about the whiskey because if this was about the whiskey, it would probably look like these Springbank cage bottlings. Standard tall round bottle, little white label, scribbled details on it. That's all you need to know. This is similar with the wine world. You know, you take an 82 Lafitte, one of the best vintages ever, and it looks identical to some of the worst vintages of Lafitte. The only thing that changes is the date on the label, but it's not about the contents, it's about the design. And that's truly sort of awe-inspiring to me. There are a few things that I don't necessarily like about the design. The swinging element, I just can't help but think it reminds me of Johnny Walker swing. And it's just, you know, it, yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick. But again, look at that for a handcrafted piece of glass, like the, the, the mechanics, how that is made is just truly incredible. The other thing that I don't like is this sort of nonsense about the key and the lock. It's just like you put this oval on it and it's clearly unlocking like a magnetized like locking mechanism. So it's not really a lock, you stick a magnet on it and it'll open. It's a nice little feature, it's a nice little addition. It's a little quirk, it's a little novelty, it's something to get all your friends around and then get your key and then do the big reveal. But it's nothing really, so that's, anyway, but that's that. But this is the key point. Like if you look at the work of Johnny Ive at Apple, you know, he transformed Apple's products into what they are today. And this is what great design does. It transforms something from the ordinary into the sublime. And it's the same with the iPhone interface. It's the same with many of Johnny Ive's products that he designed they it, it's that usability and it's that industrial design that really makes them and i think that's what's really impressive about this this new collaboration with bowmore and aston martin now clearly there are other competitors in this realm of design and high-end whiskey the most recent notable one that i can think of is the gordon and mcphail's glenliver 80 year old and it, it's nice don't get me wrong it's a little bit cologne, isn't it? It's a little bit 80s brute. And there's a few other sort of uh, amazing <laughs> cologne shaped bottles. That I think do a better job of that. So it's all right, but it's all right. You know, the Macallan Reach, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? You know, it's, I, I get it. It's just a bit creepy, but anyway, Macallan and Lalique's are beautiful, but again, it's not really transforming the envelope. If you've seen the boxes to the Macallan and Lalique's, it's kind of like, the the, the 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 decanter is the main part of the show and then everything else is secondary which is true to an extent, extent but like again if you come down the price tiers if you come down to the Bowmore trip uh, sorry the Brewer triptych that's another one that's really taken this this whole aspect of sort of display stand display case decanters everything about it is beautifully integrated in there so like what do you think do you think that this sort of move from whiskey to high art or high design is a good thing. Are we going to see more of this? Who are going to be the next key players? Lalique obviously now on the Glen Turret Distillery, so expect big things from them. But what are your thoughts? Would you pay $75,000 for this bottle of whiskey? 